Did we cave in on Taiwan? Only the best kid, not us. Your critics insist they're abandoning Taiwan, Mr. President. They're not telling the truth. <laughs> It's been a pleasure to welcome Liberian Head of State Samuel K. Doe on his first visit to the United States. It's especially fitting that we should be meeting this year as the United States and Liberia celebrate 120 years of diplomatic relations. Our discussions gave us an opportunity to reaffirm the special friendship and mutual respect between our two countries. Clearly, a firm bond unites Liberians and Americans who have come together professionally and socially throughout the years. Our two governments have a long history of cooperation on bilateral and international issues. Chairman Doe told me of his government's ambitious goals, including the return to democratic institutions and economic stabilization. We welcome his emphasis on bringing the benefits of development to every corner of Liberia, and today we discussed how the United States can assist Liberia in achieving these goals. As I stated clearly in our discussion, the United States stands by its commitments to Liberia and looks forward to continued mutual cooperation. My meeting with Chairman Doe marks the beginning of his two-week visit to the United States. and. He made me a little envious when he told me that his next stop after Washington is going to be, well, not near, not exactly the next stop, but the next one after is going to be Los Angeles, California. But in addition to meeting with a wide range of administration officials and members of the Congress, he will have an opportunity to meet many Americans outside the government and Liberians who live in the United States as well. The personal ties among our private citizens play an important role in the special relationship between our two countries. I hope the long-standing ties between our two people and between our governments will be further strengthened in the years ahead. And Mr. Chairman, you are most welcome. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I'm extremely happy to be in the United States of America, long considered the lens of free and the home of the brave. My visit here today is to respond to the kind of invitation extended me by President Ronald Reagan, a man of abiding courage, strong will, and foresight. As you know, Liberia and the United States have a long and historic friendship which span more than 150 years. However, as Liberia first indigenous leader to visit the United States, my presence here is significant in two principled respects. Firstly, the first reaffirm our traditional friendship with the United States. Secondly, it portray to the world the United States continuing identification with and support for Liberia. In discussion with President Reagan, I explained the causes of the Liberian Revolution and the economic problem which presently confront the country. I also avail my country's hopes and aspirations for the maintenance of a free enterprise system and our yearning to democratic ideals. Together, President Reagan and I discussed matters of international concern, particularly the war in Lebanon and independence for Namibia. I'd also like to 
The economic measures being taken by our government to achieve economic recovery and promote private sector investment. We are assured that these conditions are indispensable to the achievement of the smooth transition to, to sovereign government in 1985. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, President Reagan has shown me that we can continue to count on America's understanding and support for the fulfillment of the objectives of our revolution. This is a most welcome assurance. It demonstrates the Reagan administration's commitment to maintaining the United States economic and st strategies interest in Liberia. Our country serves as a matter through which African nations can assess America's support and commitment to development countries. It is our belief that with the kind of mutual interests we share, the United States should recognize that Liberia could, save, could serve as a manner through which its support to developing countries could be assured. Thank you very much.